this high speed mess called life. Fold the laundry, turn away, put on glow trekker. Oh, look, it's that cute little British guy at a nuclear testing site. Run up 8th Avenue late, late, late for work. Watch a couple at 23rd Street. Kiss good morning, kiss goodbye, kiss good love. Read something important. This is important. I really don't care. Read something else really important. I want you to know this important thing. I want you to know this about me. Go to another movie by myself. Birthday flowers, unexpected. Your email, I love you. Go away in 25 words or less. I pack your things. I unpack your things. I run up 8th Avenue late, late, late for work. 2 a.m. Glow trigger. Oh, look, it's that cute little British guy now on a cliff they threw juice off of. I move your pictures from the bedroom to the hallway to the living room back to the closet from my heart. Offer futile care to a dissolving parent. Clean her butt, smell her urine, feel her raging hope. She grabs my arm, please, begs me, please don't leave. Please don't pull up fresh diapers, wash her hands, turn on a movie. Gene Kelly dances. I slip out the door, put the pictures back in the hallway, stare at the only thing you left of your heart, a love letter taped to the back of the bathroom door. Each time I sit down, I read it. I laughed so hard that first time. I saw it. It yells at me now. I can't take it off. I miss again. I can't leave again. Hate my cowardliness, my incessant hope again. I send cheerful presents. You call. Thank you. I hear you sing panic. Will this ever end? Will this ever end? Will this ever end into happiness? I weep. I wait. I run up 8th Avenue. I tell you nothing. What I saw the last day, I thought you'd leave me. As he scrolls away from the bench he's been sunning himself on, the old man's bull walrus chest parts the air like the prow of a big ship in a storm. The middle-aged girl sits down on the end of the bench, lumpy belly sticking out of an athletic top made for younger women pretending to be fit. <laughs> the bull war walrus now, shirtless, scrolls back, ancient tattoos drooping from hairy arms. He lies down on the bench facing her. Knees up, balls and penis bulging out of gym shorts made for much younger crotches, and starts doing push-ups and sit-ups. Bouncing forward to the middle-aged girl, then bouncing back, bouncing forward, then back, then forward, then back, then she just sits there. You and I speak for the first time, debating whether or not this couple is married or complete strangers. We can't decide. They sit in such intimacy and ignore one so well. She gets up and walks away. He does more sit-ups. You curl against my breast and murmur, don't move. This feels good. Thank you. <laughs>